What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We are here. Ted Lasso Season 1 Episode 10. The Season 1 Finale. Excited to see what happened. Last episode, great stuff. Rebecca, the, you know, it was just, uh, that's what it was. It was great. <laughs> it was great. It was a good feeling episode. You know, teary-eyed at times. Heartfelt. This show's just, it's truly wonderful. It is. And one season in, I'm having a great time. Really funny. Jason Sudeikis is great. The actress who plays Rebecca, I heard she won. Or she got nominated for an Emmy. Or whatever it is. Uh, whatever award. For that episode, I'm not totally for sure if she won. But I'll definitely take a look in the future. Um, but. Excited to see what happens next here in the finale. Roy Kent. Stuff with that. Old man. And, uh, yeah. I wonder if we'll see any more, um... What's his name? Why am I forgetting names? Holy shit. Uh, uh the guy that got sent to Manchester? I'm not totally for sure. Sorry, I'm kind of lost right now. Nonetheless, though, let's get into Ted Lasso Season 1, Episode 10. In three, two, one. Someone did his job for him. And who would that be? Who the hell are you? Oh no. Oh, hi, hello. I'm uh, I'm Will. I'm the new clubhouse attendant. No, you're not. I'm the clubhouse attendant. Hey, Higgins, where are you? Ted, what the fuck's going on? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out myself. Figure what out? Have you been sacked? Has you been fired? I, I don't know anything about this, Ted. Oh, there you are. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. You shrew. You did this, didn't you? Why are you so hostile, Nathan? Right, I'll tell you why. You know my name? Well, I had to spell it correctly for your contract. <gasps> you haven't been fired. It's worse. You've been promoted. Yeah. I present to you this whistle. But it is sad, you know why. No. Because it has never been blown. Is that the same reason why Colin said? Associated Football Club of Richmond. I now pronounce you Coach Nate. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Roy Kent. Until you choose your successor, your duties as captain of this squad remain unfulfilled. <laughs> oh, you heard it right. He loves you. All right, gang, here's the unskinny bop. Manchester City is coming into our house. But preparation wise, when clubs go down, teams get broken up. Coach, do they not have relegation in America? No, no, no. So what happens to all the shit teams at the end of the season? You know, they play out the rest of the schedule. Going through the motions and meaningless games. Tested in lifeless, half-empty stadiums. And then everyone's pretty much fine with that. You know? Does that sound about right, Coach? Yeah, it's dumb. It, yeah, I agree. It is pretty dumb. Now, Lasso sent me away. Now they're facing the drop. Sunday, I get to put the final nail in the ashes. It's the caramel. It's going to get you. <laughs> Oops, in it? Hey. All right, let's go climb that mountain. Okay, so if the Premier League is the best, then what's the league called right below? The championship. Now, hold on one second. So if you come in last place in the Premier League, you get to play in the championship? They also invented irony. Man, this town's got a weird way with words, don't it? Uh-huh. I mean, come on. It's 2020. Let's just call them cigarettes. Oh, right? God, yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, come on, come on. Why don't you have a little hope? Haven't <laughs> oh, you lived here long enough to realize? It's the hope that kills you. Hey, I still live on hope. Why don't you text me? We got a little work. Hope is my bread and butter. Hyping up, we got this. you know. We win, we're in. Okay? Stuff. There is a scenario where Crystal Palace beat Norwich by six goals and we avoid relegation with just a tie. No, 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 no. Nope, sorry. <laughs> No, I hate ties. Nate, how many times I got to This might be the one time, though, Ted. This might be the time. She wouldn't have invented numbers. All right? Come on, guys. Let's fire up. Let's go. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the love of Megan Mark. Jesus fucking Christ, Nate. They will just start stomping away. 
Okay? Come on, tell me how we beat Manchester City. We cannot beat Manchester City. Dang it, mate! That is not what I want to hear from my assistant coach on his first day. It is hopeless. Oh. It's hopeless? Yeah. Yeah. Quick question. Are those the only clothes you own? Got this? No, I've got three of these. <laughs> that ring a bell, Nate? That ring a very large bell. That's hope right there. I got tons of these hanging up in here. This one's from the bathroom mirror. It's the first thing I see every morning, <laughs> and it's the last thing I see at night when I rationalize being too tired to floss. Belief can't score gold. Can I need to put a belief yeah, sign then, because I hate flossing. Every disadvantage has its advantage. Ooh, I like that. Right. I mean, sure, that is know. definitely something Ted would doesn't like. Doesn't that mean that you see the game in a different way than any other football manager? And shouldn't that empower you to cause complete and utter confusion? Oh my God, he's gonna get cause confusion or create chaos. Yeah. Yes, it is. Thanks, Paul. Hi. Oh my God. Chaos has already begun. That's so funny. All right, gentlemen, school is in session, and today's lesson is trick plays. That's what we call them back home. What do they call them again? Elaborate set pieces. Oof, yeah, we're going to stay with trick plays. <laughs> the idea behind every trick play is to have chaos rain down upon your opponents and stun them, much like the lava did to those poor folks in Pompeii. So I want you all to think about What a reference. Trick play you have ever run. You're in pepper shakers. Pepper shakers. Pepper shakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beckham's Todger. Beckham, I know. Hydra. Globetrotters music. Okay. Midnight Putin. Putin. I know this isn't like the technical yeah, Globetrotters it's music. Band band. Oh, with Dick Van Dyke, the owner of one of the most authentic English accents in the history of cinema. What do you got? The Broken Tap. All right, that's not a complaint. That's an actual play name. I think Man City will leak a lot of goals for me. Oh. oh. Yep. That's hard. Fucking joking. Oh, yeah, Roy, Jamie's coming over. Who is he? Don't make scones. Saying nice shit about me on the telly, trying to get in my head. He does like you. Or as full of shit as he is. Oi, mind your fucking manners. I'm like Robocop. Jamie, not everyone in your life is out to get you. I am. <laughs> hey, here we are, family Higgins. This is Terry, Chris, Dana, Stevie. Do you have Higgins? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Forgive me, Father. Don't worry. When your parents have you out of wedlock, it allows you space to explore life's little grey areas. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So I've been hearing this phrase y'all got over here that I ain't too crazy about. It's the hope that kills you. Y'all know that? I disagree. No. I think it's the lack of hope that comes and gets you. See, I believe in hope. I believe in belief. Do you believe in miracles? And if you do, then I want y'all to circle up with me right now. Come on, let's go. I'm in here. All right, Captain, let him know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Solid save. That's a good save right there, baby. 30 minutes gone. Richmond with an opportunity here on the counter attack. Obisanya with an inch perfect through ball. Oh, oh Winchester was clearly offside. Come on now. What do you mean how that's offside? What? No, I'm serious. How is that offside? I don't understand it yet. 
I love how it's the final game. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Think about it. It's like, okay. We haven't seen anything like that. That's that's fun. Okay, look, we are not playing for a tie. Ain't nobody here gonna kiss their sister. What? Which is an American phrase that I'm now realizing does not exist here, and that's good because it's creepy. And <laughs> <laughs> Position Hendrick to take. Come on, he uh. Hold on. Can you believe it? Oh, what a play! Of course, Higgins had the fist bump. Uh, he risked it. He he made a risk. What the heck is this? That's the sound of twenty six thousand people checking the mailbox. Oh my God! Palace won six nil. But then that means all we need is time. When all else fails, uh, Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this! I've never seen anything like this. Oh, this is fire! Obi Sanya goes in motion. Oh my god. If Richmond are trying to confuse Manchester City, you have to say it's working. It's working on me too, I Blue for the eight! This is in chaos. And it's a Hail Mary to Obi Sanya who is wide open. Who is wide open? Come on. Danny Rojas. Yeah. It's only him and the goalkeeper. Oh, he makes the extra pass. Hendrick buries it. Oh. To watch my son pass the ball. You could have scored the winner. You better not came. Please do me this favor, will you? Lift your heads up and look around this locker room. Yeah? Look at everybody else in here. And I want you to be grateful that you're going through this sad moment with all these other folks. Because I promise you. There is something worse out there than being sad, and that is being alone and being sad. Ain't nobody in this room alone. Damn, do you remember? Night, Jamie. The love light out. The creators of this show really do love Mumford and Sons, and I respect it, because I love Mumford and Sons too. You are not going anywhere, because we have work to do. Next season. Okay, all right then. So tell me this though, uh, the, the teams that get relegated, they can get uh, unrelegated, yeah? They can get promoted. So the next year we get ourselves a promotion, which looks good on any resume. Then we come back to this league and we do something that no one believes we could ever do. Win the whole fucking thing. 
He said fucking. Mm. <laughs> <The> bubbles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I get you? <laughs> oh. oh, that was good shit, man. Oh, that was a great finale. It's such a good show, dude. They lost. Uh, that's one thing I love about Ted. And even just not all Americans, but there's a lot of us. And I'm not even going to say not even just people in, in the UK, but like even if there's like a sad moment, even if there's like, and it doesn't have to be sports, it could be really anything. Movies, TV, sports, life in general. If something bad happens, you can always look and find the the positives from it, the good from it. Like, what what did you learn? Point out the things that are positive and don't focus too much on the negative. You know what I mean? And that's what I live by. Even though there's not a lot of leg, uh, blah, 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 a lot of negative in, in society. Uh, that can't be, like, ignored. I don't ignore it, but I do enjoy looking at positives. And... You know, the goalie killed it. Sam killed it. Um, Roy, you know, chasing down Jamie was great. And he sacrificed his body to make a huge play for the team. And it was, it was great. Fantastic. Um, and just, just... <sighs> hope, hope can bring you down. Because if you have hope and you overhype yourself... And get over, you know, you overbelieve per se. You know that disappointment is going to feel horrible, and that's what a lot of people do with like, like Star Wars, for example. Is like they hype something up too much, and they believe they truly believe in what they're hyping up, or like whatever theory it is, and then that doesn't come true. So like, oh, this is dog shit because my what I wanted and my, what I wanted, the writers didn't write what I specifically wanted. So this thing is trash, or. In terms of sports, I'll say, you know, American football, you know, they didn't sign this player. They didn't run this play on this specific down. Um, they didn't win a specific game, or they didn't win a specific game how they wanted them to win. And they're like, ah, that's a fucking trash-ass team. Or like a, a quarterback, Justin Fields, you know, he makes mistakes, but he's learning and he's young. But he's the worst quarterback to have. He's a bust. He's horrible. That's like it's like shit like that. You know, you gotta look at the positives. Like especially with like Justin Fields or something like that. You look at all those positive plays and all those like really good highlight plays. We went three and fourteen to whatever it was this year, and there was like a twenty minute highlight reel that you know the NFL page posted of Justin Fields. You rarely see that with horrible teams. And specifically quarterbacks on horrible teams. Like, he's truly a guy. But, um, I just, I'm excited for next season. They're going to be in the, what, Champion League? So they're going to try, I, I hope they, like, go through that and win that and, like, kick ass and then they get promoted back into the Premier League. I will say, I kind of wished American football was like that. Like, I kind of wish... The worst team in the NFL, sure, they get the first draft pick, and it's good for them, but sometimes it never pans out, and they waste that first draft pick. What if, like, the worst team gets sent down to the the XFL or the uh, whatever the other league is? Like, you have these three leagues. The best team from those two get promoted to whatever, like, if... The USFL, or if that's what it is, best team from that gets to the the XFL. The best team from the XFL from the XFL goes to the NFL, while the worst team in the NFL goes to. I mean, that would I think a lot of people would be mad, and I certainly would feel weird about it. But it's new. I like change. I wish people embraced change and like thought of new ideas for stuff. But I don't know. Some I just saw a post that says Starfield speedrunner finishes game in less than three hours. That's wild. I loved uh, like one of my favorites was Keely, which is like Jesus Christ. And 
um, the fucking, the pastor comes, and that was really funny, that was really good, um, I love the locker room speech, oh my god, Ted's locker room speeches are great, they are, they're motivational, they make me feel good, it's just, uh, who would believe that an NBC commercial that was just a, a fun little gag with Jason Sudeikis could turn into this huge-ass TV show, and it's wonderful. So many, It's so emotional. I don't give a shit about soccer, and I'm caring about this. Is it going to make me want to get into soccer? No. <laughs> Not really. But I enjoy this. I do. And, you know, we saw Jamie this episode... He's still a prick, but now we know why he's a prick. So I could assume next season we'll see a nice little redemption arc from Mr. Jamie Todd. I'm excited for that. Got a horrible father. Even though they won, he's yelling at him because he passed it. Horrible. Fucking horrible. And then, like, Ted's looking at him like, oh my god. Like, imagine the move that, like, what if Jamie, like, request, like, is there trades in soccer? I don't know. Or in football. Is there trades? Like, what if he requested a trade? Like, the amount of, like, the news would be huge. Be huge. Um, and speaking of, like, news, I loved when they all got the notification on their phone in the stadium. I was like, oh, that's so sick. It's like, uh, it's like week 18 in the NFL season, you know. The final, the final games are going. You know, the fans are nervous, and imagine you got, like, two teams here, two teams here. This team loses, so that means you can still lose in this game and make the playoffs, or you hear, oh, this team won, so we have to win. Or you can tie. That's certainly happened. Or, where like, it was, like, it was, I remember the Sunday night game between the Chargers and Raiders, where they could have tied, and both of them would have made the playoffs. But they're like, no, nah, we're not doing that. That was great too. That was great. I would totally see like a an episode of television like surrounding that game and the the chaos and the the thoughts and everything like it was cool. Um, but such a good show. Uh, I'm excited for season two. I'm pleasantly surprised on how much I enjoyed this show. I am. It could be peak television i have a feeling it could end being peak peak television so i'm excited i hope you guys are excited i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell for your daily videos every single day follow me on twitter twitch tiktok and instagram and all the social medias down in the description below and we'll catch you for another video goodbye